I want to do a video. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on this particular gaming headset. This is the HyperX Cloud Revolver. Uh, it just went on pre-order April 1st, April Fool's Day, so uh, it's not a joke. You can actually pre-order it now. Um, and many of you guys are probably already familiar with HyperX's Cloud line of gaming headsets. Uh, they've already released the original Cloud and the Cloud 2s a um, few, few months back, and both of them are really well praised by the, uh, the gaming community. Um, and uh, we're gonna take a look at this one. This is the newest addition to the family, the Cloud family. Uh, However, you'll notice from the box right away that it looks very different than the cloud that we're used to. So um, hopefully we still get the same amount of performance uh, in terms of sound quality, that is, uh, as well as build quality that we've seen from that line of products. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and slice this guy open. Shloop. I should I should preface this video by saying that I have checked out this headset once for a brief moment at CES this year, back in January. I stopped by the Kingston slash HyperX booth, and they let me put these things on and give them a go. However, I was in a really crowded room in uh, at their suite, and it was noisy, so I didn't get a really good gauge on how they actually sounded. They sounded good from what I could tell, um, but I'd really I'm really excited to check them out in a more controlled environment today. So if I can get this thing off, there we go. Comes in a very nice package. You've got some nice little writing on here, a message from HyperX that no one will ever read. Here, this is what it looks like in the box. I, I also haven't done like an unboxing, just a straight up unboxing on the channel. And while that's not exactly what this is, uh, it's kind of nice to be doing one of these after a while. Let's see, we've got the headset and uh, a boom mic, which obviously it's a uh, detachable. And is there anything else underneath this beautiful foam. Nope, that's it. So I guess we'll talk about the mic first since it's already detached and stuff. It's a boom pole, it's flexible. You can kind of flex it and it stays. Uh, so you can position it, you know, either f further away or closer to your mouth. It's got a 3.5 millimeter jack right there. And uh, ooh, my favorite part of unboxings is taking the plastic plastic wrap off. I don't know if it's the noise. It's gotta be the noise. I think the noise is what's satisfying. Listen, listen. Every time. Ooh, even got bonus wrap on the edges of the, the ear cups. Look at that. <laughs> this is, this is, I would pay 120 bucks for this. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's 120 bucks. So uh, it's about what the Cloud 2s were. I think the Cloud 2s were maybe 100. Maybe the Cloud 2s were 100 and the original clouds, clouds were discounted to like 80, I think, after the Cloud 2s came out. But let me go ahead and just put these suckers on first. Give them a go. Ah, are these even on the right way? Okay, these are on backwards. I got this. You know what, they're they're a lot lighter than they look because they're they're a little bit bulky just because of the, uh, the, the, the giant headband, but you realize that it's completely hollow and it's super thin because it just uses this elastic band on the inside with a, with a, foam, with a foam headband. Um, so it's very light, even the ear cups are super light. Uh, almost to the point where like the build quality doesn't feel quite as strong or durable as the Cloud or the Cloud 2s, I would say. However, they're equally comfortable, at least, you know, in the first five seconds. Maybe even more comfortable than the Cloud 2s. Uh, because I remember the Cloud 2s, the one gripe I had with them was, was clamping force. They were a little bit snug on my head, particularly. Um, Jeez, sorry about any cars driving by, I live by a busy street. But you know, that's not a problem as much. Uh, clamping force I can deal with with the Cloud 2s because you can just stretch that out over time. Um, but these are super comfortable. There's a memory foam, I believe, on the ear pads. I've also got, like I said, cushioned head headband. Um, the, uh, the frame here is actually steel, so um, that's nice. I was worried that it was gonna be plastic. I couldn't remember from CES if it was plastic or, or steel. However, something to be aware of is with the stretchy ear, ear headbands, whatever it's called, the headbands, uh, the elastic ones, elastic will deteriorate over time, you know, depending on how much you use it, and also the quality of it will determine how, how much mileage you get out of it. And I think these are gonna last, you know, Long, long as you need them to, but that's something to be aware of. If you plan on having these, a pair of uh, a, a gaming headset for 10 years, then uh, the elasticity on this is not going to be the same as it is uh, out of the box. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, as far as the aesthetics go, I am, eh, I don't know. I think it looks a little kind of cheesy just on the ear cups a bit. It's kind of glossy. I don't like the gloss. If it was matte, if there was more matte pieces like the uh, the Cloud 2s, I think I'd be a little happier with that. Complete preference. That's the thing about gaming peripherals is that a lot of it's subjective. So what I'm saying right now could not apply to any of you. It's not like I'm running benchmarks here. So the, the ear cups themselves, 
are plastic. The like I said, the uh, the frame around the headband, this really thin piece, is uh, is steel, which is nice, and it feels very, very, very rugged even when I uh, flex the ear cups like so. So that's good. But the uh, the ear cups themselves are plastic as well as the the HyperX emblem kind of design stuff on the outside there. So uh, moving on to the cable, we've got a nice, a very nice sleeved braided cable, which is not detachable from the ear cup piece. Uh, so that is tethered there. I like the fact that HyperX, what do they do with it? Where is it? Where's the, oh, it fell on the floor. So I like the fact that they included this uh, adapter here. So it's a microphone clip. It's got your uh, your audio adjustment. You can also mute it. There's a mute switch on there. But uh, the fact that this has two, has, has both the audio and a microphone jack means the headphones themselves don't have to have two plugs, which makes them more uh, convenient for, for traveling and listening uh, to audio and stuff like that. Another thing about these is that I'm pretty sure that they're closed back, which makes them also kind of forgiving when you're listening to them in public. If you're wearing them in public, people next to you won't be able to hear ex every little bit and detail of what you're listening to. And I think on that note, I'm gonna fire these up with my, with my phone here, listen to some tunes. Oh, it's not playing. Play. What's happening? So I think I know the problem, guys. Basically, the mobile data, my mobile data doesn't work for crap in this house, so I'm always connected to the Wi-Fi. However, right now, I can't connect to the Wi-Fi because my phone's currently connected to the GH4 that's filming re me right now, so I'm, because I'm using the image app to, uh, you know, record and, and, and focus myself and things like that. So, we're gonna need a new sound playing, what are, what are the, those things called? Tablet. All right, Nexus 7, you're up. Do I have spot? Don't tell me I don't have Spotify on here. Yes, I do. Log in. I don't remember my login. We're good. No, what happened? Unable to log in. No. I'll just try again. Did it work? Yes, I think I'm in. Uh, playlists. Uh, EDM. Yeah, yeah, guys, it sounds it sounds pretty good. I mean, I don't have the Cloud 2s on hand with me to actually do a, a an A-B comparison directly, but it's it sounds about as good as I remember the Cloud 2 sounding, if that helps anyone. Bass is super tight and punchy, and uh, granted, I've only listened to one song, but I mean, instantly I can tell you it's probably good for listening to music just as well as it is for playing games and stuff like that. On that note, again, on that note, on that note, uh, let's let's play some games with this. Well, not with this. We're gonna plug this into a computer and then we're gonna play games on that computer so we can listen to these. All right, friends, we've got uh, H1Z1 firing up right now. This is probably the best uh, first-person shooter that I had on Hotline, but uh, this game does require you to use your all your senses. Well, not taste, but you definitely have to like use your ears. I guess you have to use your ears in lots of games. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm going down. Two minutes in, and the headphones are still comfortable. I can confirm. You guys forgive me, I'm really, really, I don't know how to play this game. I mean, Steve briefly walked me through it. Oh, now my phone's ringing. Go away. No, that song is copywritten. Oh shit, I see someone. That is not a homie. Oh. Okay, I can hear the gunshots. I believe they came from this direction. If I'm right, then that's that's a good a good mark for the uh, for the headphones. Oh hey, hey, don't kill me! Oh jeez, come on, man. Well, you know what this proves? It proves that you can hear where the gunshots are coming from with the cloud revolvers. That's so. My death was not in vain. Oh, people getting shot, people dying. Not me. I'm a survivor. Crazy house. Oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I should probably get the hell out of here. Let's just run on this wide open bridge. Where there's absolutely no cover whatsoever. I'm completely exposed. That's okay. Because, you know what? They don't have a cloud revolver headset. And they don't. They can't hear where I'm coming from because their audio sucks. Oh, it's so bright. My eyes. Oh, 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 dude, dude. I heard that. I heard that with the cloud revolvers, and it sounded, it sounded like an explosion. So that's that's a good sign. Oh, oh shit! I see someone. 
I heard him with the cloud revolvers. I knew exactly where he was. Look at him. Look at that fucker. He's coming here. Oh shit, no. Oh my god, no. Oh shit, he sees me. He totally sees me. Oh no. Come on. What? What the? What happened? What? 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 All right. Well, um, I'm I'm pretty happy with how they sound. Honestly, I could hear everything fine. And and don't let my poor gaming skills reflect the sound quality of the headset. Uh, yeah, they they, they sound good. I could easily tell where gunshots were coming from. Um, and uh, and footsteps as well. Um, but yeah, I would say overall, pretty solid. As you can see, we're loading up GTA 5 right now because, as you all know, part of a gaming headset isn't just the cans themselves, but also the quality of the microphone. So we're going to jump into a public server and see what people think. Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Is anybody out there? Is anybody? Nope, no one's in the server. I'm talking to myself. Hey, can you guys hear me? No. Do I sound alright? How do I sound? Fine. Is there any kind of like static or ambient noise? No. The and audio's you're... fine, um. it's just kind of quiet. Just kind of quiet. Alright, that's probably just on my end. Alright, thanks guys. See you later. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Alright guys, so... What's the deal with these things? Um, honestly, it's a good gaming headset. I, I don't have much to complain about in terms of the execution. It sounds good, it's comfortable. I was wearing it for about half an hour while I was playing games and I didn't get tired tired of it at all. Uh, the ear pads are super comfy and the, uh, the headband as well. Uh, the microphone, we know, is at least good enough for people to understand what the hell I'm saying in game, so that's a good thing. And overall, it's just a, it's just a solidly well-packaged unit. Now, the gripe that I have with it, however, is at $120 MSRP, it's only 20 bucks, or it is 20 bucks more than the Cloud 2s, which are already a really good headset. So, the problem I have here is I don't know if the 20 bucks is worth the revolver. I think I would just probably go with the Cloud 2, simply because the sound quality is about the same, in my opinion, from both headsets and comfort level is about on par as well. The, the, the big differences are the design, the aesthetic, you know, the co cosmetically, which one you like better, and also maybe personal preference on whether or not you like the elastic type of headband or just a fixed one, like the Cloud 2s. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Those, those are my first impressions. If you, wanna get, if you wanna catch a deal on these, maybe wait for them to, to be out for a little, a little bit before you pull the trigger. Uh, but if you want more information or you want to buy them or pre-order them, I should say, there's a link in the description below. But that's gonna do it for now, guys. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of first impression, super unscripted type of video. I know it's, I know, I know it's like off the cuff and kind of crappy, but I don't know. I had a fun time making it and hopefully you enjoyed watching it. So if you did, toss me a like on this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. This is making, this is making too much noise on the mic. Me moving around. My too fidgety for you. My too fidgety. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more tech videos coming at you really soon, and I'll see y'all in the next video.